Have you noticed how a late night meal or a sleepless week seems to flip your digestion, your mood, and your energy all at once? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're looking at how your circadian rhythm sets the repair schedule for your gut lining, and what happens when that timing drifts. I'm Alara Skye, and we're going to break down what the research says about daily clocks in your gut, how disruptions raise the risk of leaky gut and inflammation, and the practical habits you can use to bring your system back on time. Your intestine renews itself on a daily timetable. A review in Genes and Diseases shows that your circadian rhythm directs intestinal stem cells to divide, specialize, and rebuild your lining with precision. That timing determines whether new cells become absorptive cells, mucus-secreting cells, or other specialized types that keep your barrier strong. When your clock and the cell cycle fall out of sync, repair slows and permeability rises, increasing the chance of inflammation and digestive disorders. Proteins inside these cells act as timekeepers, coordinating when to divide and when to pause, while enzymes link the clock to energy use, so renewal happens efficiently instead of wastefully. The pattern is clear. Off-schedule days weaken your barrier. Irregular sleep, late-night eating, and mismatched light exposure push the system behind. Over time, that raises the risk of chronic inflammation, autoimmune reactions, and metabolic problems. Keeping your routines aligned with natural light and dark cycles supports this repair machinery and helps you maintain a calm, resilient gut. Who pays the highest price when rhythm is lost? Night shift workers, frequent travelers, and anyone with inconsistent sleep see more constipation, bloating, and unpredictable bowel movements. When your brain and gut clocks desynchronize, nutrient absorption can drop, so the same meal fuels you less effectively. The barrier also becomes leakier, allowing toxins and bacteria to slip into the bloodstream and trigger inflammation that shows up as fatigue and brain fog. Alcohol and ultra-processed foods act as second hits, multiplying damage when your timing is already off, and long-term disruption tracks with higher risks of obesity and type 2 diabetes. Let's talk about the microbiome's role in this timing. A review in the FEBS journal outlines how gut microbes tune stress responses, shape immune activity, and influence sleep through the microbiota gut-brain axis. A stable microbiome smooths stress hormone waves across the day, and signals from microbes travel quickly along the vagus nerve to affect mood and behavior. Certain bacteria that produce butyrate help quiet inflammation and support steadier stress handling. Studies show that transferring microbes from stressed or depressed people into germ-free mice raises anxiety and stress hormones, while diets rich in psychobiotics or specific strains like Lactobacillus, Helveticus, and Acromantia mucinifera can reduce stress and improve mood in animals and humans. Microbial byproducts also act like timing cues. Butyrate helps reset liver clock genes, and indoles cool immune overreactions and support nerve repair. Your microbes keep a daily schedule of their own, rising and falling with your eating pattern. When you eat during your active hours instead of late at night, you help those rhythms stay aligned, supporting steadier metabolism, even under higher fat conditions, because the timing signal is intact. So how do you bring your gut back on time? Start with your sleep-wake cycle. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, weekends included. Your gut follows your brain's master clock, and a steady routine signals when to repair. If you work nights, use blackout curtains and anchor a consistent daytime sleep window to create regularity. Next, put your meals on a schedule, space them consistently, and stop eating at least three hours before bedtime so your gut can shift from absorption to rebuilding on cue. Light is your strongest environmental clock setter. Get outside in morning daylight to reinforce alertness and dim lights toward evening so your system winds down. Limit bright screens at night so you aren't sending mixed signals. When your rhythm is strained after travel or a run of late nights, avoid ultra-processed foods and alcohol, which magnify barrier stress. Replace them with whole, unprocessed meals that support repair, including vegetables, fruits, and grass-fed beef. 
build daily anchors, morning movement, midday sunlight, and an evening wind down, so your clocks hear the same message at the same times. If you're wondering what to watch for, red flags of a drifting rhythm include constipation, bloating, irregular bowel movements, fatigue, and brain fog. Over time, those patterns connect to higher risks of inflammatory bowel disease, obesity, diabetes, and autoimmune flare-ups. Pay attention to when symptoms appear. Late-night meals, followed by poor sleep, often precede next-day digestive upset because you've signaled your gut to absorb when it should be repairing. You might ask how this connects back to stem cell-driven renewal. The timing proteins and energy-linking enzymes work best when your cues are consistent, when you align sleep, meals, and light with a 24-hour rhythm. You're telling stem cells exactly when to divide and what to become. That precision keeps the mucus layer replenished, supports nutrient absorption at the right hours, and tightens junctions that prevent unwanted particles from crossing your gut wall. Another common question is how microbes factor into sleep quality. When your microbiome is stable, stress hormone spikes are tempered, vagal signaling remains steady, and immune activity is less likely to overreact at night. That translates into more predictable sleep and smoother digestion the following day. Disruptions in microbial balance can do the opposite, amplifying anxiety, fragmenting sleep, and leaving your gut more reactive. If your schedule is irregular by necessity, structure still helps. Anchor, wake time, or wind down rituals, even when shifts rotate. Keep meals predictable within each schedule block and avoid late night eating whenever possible. When you must eat late, make the next day's meals earlier to reset the cue. Minimize alcohol and ultra-processed foods during those periods because they compound barrier strain and prolong recovery. Here's today's challenge. For the next seven days, pick a consistent bedtime and wake time. Set three regular meal times that end at least three hours before bed, get 15 to 30 minutes of morning daylight, and remove alcohol and ultra-processed foods while favoring vegetables, fruits, and grass-fed beef. Track how your digestion, energy, and mood change when your gut repairs on schedule. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.